Right, level two probability paper from 2017, and we're now looking at question 1b. Okay, right, so we've got this information about the obese um, people in the survey, and we are now looking at um, how that relates to them smoking. Okay, so it's found that of the young adults in the survey, um, 103 of the ones that were obese. 103 of those were smokers, 53 of those smokers were male, which means 50 smokers and female. Okay, because that's what's left. Um, so what proportion of obese young adults in the sample were female non-smokers? So 50 of the obese ones um, who were female smoked. So if we take 50 off of that, we will have 235 left that were non-smokers. So 235 what proportion of these young adults in the sample were female non-smokers? So female, not smoking, 235. Out of our total um, of the obese one, because we want proportion of obese, is 507. Okay, it's claimed that the young adult smokers are more at risk of being obese than the young adult smokers. So we want to, sorry, young adult non-smokers, so we want to make that comparison of the risks. Do the results of the survey co support this claim? Um, so are the smokers more at risk of being obese than the non-smokers? So risk of obesity for smokers. So a smoker, 103 of those were obese out of the total of 420. The risk for the non-smokers, uh, they had 404 of them obese out of 2,080. So that's 0.194. Okay, so the smokers have a higher risk of obesity. The calculations support the claim. Now I'd be tempted to go um, one step further and actually do the relative risk um, to say how much more. Um, this question doesn't specifically ask for it but it's hard to spot that. It's, it's um, it's, it's tricky to spot that as a student answering this. So it's better to put it in there and not need it than need it and not have it in there. So the relative risk here would be that um, the 103 over 420 divided by the 404 over 2080. So they're 26% more likely. Okay, now you can put the the actual calculation in there. I'm just running out of room. So whatever you put in your calculator, you'd write that on the paper. Now, if we look at the mark scheme, um, this question actually only goes as far as comparing the risks themselves. So work out one risk correctly and you've got your U mark. So we did that there. And compare the two risks and you've got your R mark. Okay. So to say that one was more than the other um, and that the smokers... Um, are more at risk than the non-smokers was enough for the, the merit point in that question. It didn't go as far as doing the relative risk. It's hard to spot that in the question, but, but the question only asks, um, does the results of the survey support the claim that they are more at risk? It doesn't ask you to work out how much more at risk. But if you include that bit of it, how much more, you're not going to get marked down. So if in doubt, go as far as doing the relative risk, um, just to cover your bases.